DoSomething.org is one of the largest organizations in the U.S. that helps young people rock causes they care about. Do Something inspires and empowers young people to take action and is currently on track to activate two million young people in 2011. Please join me in welcoming Nancy Lublin to talk about young people, mobile, and social change. I need your help. Can you sing with me? Because I don't sing very well. Where's Monique? <laughs> Monique, I need your help. Um, I believe the children are, I have the lyrics. Our future, teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride. Okay, I hate that song, stop. So basically, this song is a bunch of bull. Because basically, young people rock now. You recognize this guy, right? There's one badass. Woo, is his sister here? She should have been singing. Um, Katarina Fake, Flicker. David Karp, Tumblr. How about Revolutions? Nobody there is wearing a suit. They're all a bunch of drunk college students pulling down the Berlin Wall. <laughs> that guy used to be young. How about Egypt? A bunch of women. No one who's like in a Girl Scout uniform or sitting over a business plan at a Starbucks, right? How about Tiananmen Square? That kid's not Tracy Flick. How about anti-tobacco movement? Again, led by young people. These are young people who just think smoking is nasty and they've convinced their parents to quit. Or recycling, young people, like we just saw, who have been convincing their parents to turn down the thermostat or to recycle things at home. Young people are awesome. We don't need to wait and do it later. They do it right now, and they don't need old people to help them. We need her. <laughs> so this is our target market. <laughs> and the secret to getting this girl is right there. So these are two guys in my office. That's James Elbar and Mike Fantini. I just want to say they're both single and not dating each other. <laughs> and in November, they had a brilliant idea. They pulled 500 kids from our database. 500 what we would call like defunct users, kids we hadn't heard from in about six months. During that time, those kids probably had 20 emails from us. We Facebook about six times a day. We're the fifth largest charity on Twitter, so they saw lots of tweets. We hadn't heard a word from those 500 kids, but they were smart, and they sent them a text message. That's the response rate. 20% response rate in nine minutes. And here's my response. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Texting has a 100% open rate. You open every single text message you get. It over-indexes for minority and urban youth. And does anybody want to guess how many text messages, some of you are parents, how many text messages do you think you kids, your kids get each month? Take a guess, somebody shout it out. 1,500, uh, 3,339 text messages a month. That's 111 a day, unless you have a girl. She's doing more like 4,500 text messages a month. Okay, we love those girls. This is the future. These are the terms they use most often, by the way. For those of you who didn't realize that what we call this hit me up, HMU was the title of my talk. Um, that's the most common term actually sent by kids to each other. So right now we've been doing a test and we text about 60,000 kids a week. We have a less than half percent drop off rate and we're encouraging them to do our campaigns. Our campaigns are every month. We have a different cause of the month and it's something kids can do that doesn't require money, an adult, or a car, because that's not how kids roll. <laughs> and again, a less than half percent uh, drop-off rate, and typically our response rate is about 12%, um, which again is higher than you'll get for typical email, but what's really awesome is our yield is even better. Um, kids are doing these campaigns. Um, this week, I am proud to announce that on Thursday, we will officially be launching this. This has just been a test. 60,000 kids to us is a test. Um, this week, we will be shifting into an acquisition mode on Thursday, and our hope is to have millions of kids, a movement of kids, with their weapon of choice being something that vibrates in their pocket. I'm still talking about a cell phone. <laughs> the challenge, of course, is while everybody's been here talking about social media, 
texting is an inherently one-on-one -on -one technology. So our challenge is really how to make texting social. Um, and we've got all kinds of secret weapons in that, which hopefully you'll be reading about on Mashable, because Adam will write about it. So basically, I just wanted to conclude by saying we love teens. We also love Whitney Houston, but we want you to remember that crack is whack. <laughs> Thank you.